Welcome to Iraq. Yeah, we're here in Bacon Hot Basra with the 1st Battalion, Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. How are you doing? Very well, thanks. Hot so, here in Bacon Basra, but it's been, it's been great. We've had great fun, haven't we? It's been we've a wonderful a, experience. We've had a, a very experience. intense 24 hours. Yeah. But I must say, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's been a great experience, very yeah. humbling, and just a tiny piece of what you know, the, the, um, the service men and women are having to go through out here as well. But the heat just knocks you back for six. We've had a mini adventure this yeah. morning. We were yeah. up bright and early uh, out on the God, uh, ungodly hour, actually. Yeah. Wasn't it? It was about six a.m. or something. To, to him, anyway. Yeah. Uh, we were on the quad bikes and then we went to the shooting range, which uh, cut my lip. So school by. It's been embarrassing. He's bleeding from the pistol range. Um, but yeah, we've had uh, we, we've had a snapshot of what goes on in the base uh, at yeah. the cob. So what is it about the Help for Heroes charity that, that originally made you get involved? What sort of drummed home to me when I was originally asked, we're asking people to put themselves in harm's way as service women. The least we can do is give them respect and dignity of providing them with, with cover uh, when they come back home and raise money for their rehabilitation and when they are seriously hurt and so on. What is it over here that, that made you want to come out and visit the lads? Well, I, I suppose the inspiration has been the kind of synergy between teamwork you know being we've been unfortunately involved in, in, in teams and, and, and you know teams look after each other when they get injured you only looking at the extreme climatic conditions being here I've been able to adapt to that be confronted by potential violent conflict and so on and also be having to keep yourself cool calm collected uh, and making decisions that could affect people's lives and um, I have a huge amount of respect for, for people who can do that in these sort of conditions. I guess coupled with the sacrifice that they all have to make, living apart from their loved ones, to protect national security, and I think that's a big part of it all. And what do you see in the future for Help for Heroes? There are so many initiatives and I think if everybody checks out the website there, there's bicycle rides, there's all sorts of a myriad of interactive sporting occasions that people can support. The ultimate goal is to raise as much money and I think the target now has been set 30 million pounds. So that's a very ambitious but very achievable looking at um, what has been achieved in the last six months. It's only a case of, of, of raising money but raising awareness that people are aware of exactly what sacrifice to put themselves through. Scott Gibbs, Ian Evans, thank you very much. Pleasure. Fifteen meters and you're hitting the centre of the white patch is pretty good going to be honest.